Hello everyone, in this video I will be covering 3D geometry. As uh, in my previous videos I have already covered straight lines and then I covered circles and then I did uh, parabola, ellipse and uh, hyperbola. Now only 3 questions out of 20 are left. The 3 uh, for uh, 3D geometry. Right? So 3D geometry, 3 questions. So let us look at the first problem. If the points A, B, C are, which are given are collinear, then the ratio in which the points P which is T, K minus 2T, T plus K divides the line segment BC is. This is a very simple and straightforward problem. A, B, C is a straight line. Don't mind the drawing. Uh, minus 1, 0, 7, 3, 2, T, 5, K minus 2 are collinear. So first uh, I have to find out the values of T and K. So what I will do is 3 minus minus 1 divided by 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 minus 0 divided by k minus 2 is equal to t minus 7 divided by minus 2 minus t right very easy and straightforward 3 minus minus 1 is 4 by 2 is equal to 2 by k minus 2 is equal to t minus 7 by minus 2 minus t this is 2 so 2 is equal to 2 by k minus 2 and 2 is equals to t minus 7 by minus 2 minus t. So what do we get here? k minus 2 is 1 and minus 4 minus 2t is equals to t minus 7. So minus 3t is equals to minus 3. So t is equal to 1 and k is equal to 3. Simply gorgeous. Very easy problem free problem I would say this one B is given 3 2 T T I have found out is 1 C is given 5 K minus 2 K is 3 P we can find out now T is 1 K is 3 minus 2 is 1 T plus K is 4 so BP is to PC 1 minus 3 by 5 minus 1 or 1 minus 2 by 3 minus 1 or 4 minus 1 by minus 2 minus 4 is equals to 2 minus 2 by 4 or minus 1 by 2 or 2 by minus 6 all of them sorry 3 by minus 6 all of them are equal to minus 1 by 2 right so minus 1 is 2, 2. Next problem. The direction cosines L, M, N of two lines are satisfying. 3L plus M plus 5N is equal to 0. And 6M minus 2N L plus 5L M is equal to 0. If theta is the angle between those two lines, then mod of cos theta is what? So let us assume L1, M1, N1, and L2, M2, N2 are the direction cosines of the two lines and these are roots of the two given equations so from equation 1 3L plus M plus 5N is equals to 0 what is M? M is minus of 3L plus 5N and 6MN minus 2NL plus 5LN 5LM is equals to 0 Put the value of m over here so 6 n into minus of 3 l plus 5 n minus 2 n l plus 5 l m is negative with, with a negative sign so negative here 3 l plus 5 n is equal to 0 all are negative so I can put plus sign here so 3 into 6 is 18 n l 6 into 5 is 30 n square plus 2 n l plus 5 into 3 is 15 15 l square plus 5 into 5 is 25 l n is equal to 0 l n or n l uh, one and the same thing 
so 18 and 2 is 20 and 25 is 45 and L 45 and L plus 30 and square plus 15 L square is equal to 0 if I divide all of this by 15 so this is 2 this is 1 this is 3 so L square plus 3 and L plus 2 n square is equal to 0 I would like to factorize this thing L square plus n L plus 2 n L plus 2 n square is equal to 0 take L common L plus n take 2 n common L plus n so what do I get take L plus n common okay so L plus n is 0 or L plus 2n is equal to 0 let us assume this is uh, L is equals to minus n so let us assume this is the pair of L1 M1 N1 and from here this is the pair of L2 M2 N2 okay now what is M1 M1 is equals to from equation 1 this first relation that's given to us minus 3 L plus 5 N minus 3L plus 5N what is M2 minus 3L2 plus 5N2 what is L1 is equal to minus N1 minus 3N1 plus 5N1 is equal to minus of 2N1 is minus 2N1 M2 is what minus 6N2 plus 5 and 2 which is equals to minus of minus and 2 is equal to and 2 so the pair of direction cosines is what l1 is equals to minus n1 m1 is minus 2 n1 n1 is n1 l2 is equals to minus 2 n2 m2 is equals to n2 and n2 is n2 itself so mod cos theta we know the relation of the angle between the two lines when their direction cosines are given is this right very easy it's a free problem as I said you don't even have to think much So mod cos theta is what minus minus plus so 2 n1 n2 minus 2 n1 n2 plus n1 n2 n1 square plus 4 n1 square plus n1 square is square root of 6 n1 square whole mod square root of 4 n2 square plus n2 square plus n2 square 6 n2 square this thing is cancelled so mod of n1 n2 by root 6 into root 6 is 6 square root of n1 square is n1 square root of n2 square is n2 is 1 by 6 1 by 6 okay so now we are on the last problem a tetrahedron has vertices O A B C we know what is tetrahedron it has uh, all the surfaces as triangles like this and then one point here okay so kind of like this one triangle here one here one here and one in the front four triangles if uh, O is given as origin and A is given as uh, 1 2 1 B is given as 2 1 3 C is given as 1 minus 1 2 surfaces O A B and A B C so let us just uh, find out the normal to the plane OAB and then I will find out the normal to the plane ABC and then I will find out the angle between the two normals and that will give me cos theta right so O is given so OA vector is what I plus 2J plus K and OB is what 2i plus j plus 3k so the vector n1 which is normal to this plane oab or triangle oab 
is what OA cross OB is equals to I plus 2J plus K cross 2I plus J plus 3K. Now this is a lot of calculation. Okay, so I cross I is 0, I cross J is K. Make sure you don't make any mistakes here. I cross J is K. I cross K is what? K cross I is J. So I cross K is minus J. So minus 3 J. J cross I. I cross J is K. So J cross I is what? Minus K. So minus 4K. And J cross J is 0. J cross K is I. So 2 into 3 is 6. 6I. Six K cross I is J. So plus 2J. J cross K is I, so K cross J is minus I and K cross K is 0. So what is this? 6I minus I is 5I minus 3J plus 2J is minus J K minus 4K is minus 3K right? Now we will have to look at triangle ABC or plane ABC vector AB is what? Vector AB is 2 minus 1, which is I, and 1 minus 2, so minus J, and 3 minus 1, so plus 2K. What is vector AC? AC. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2I. 1 minus 2, minus 1. 2 minus 1, plus 1. So vector N2 which is normal to the plane ABC is given by the vector product AB cross AC. AB is I minus J plus 2K cross minus 2I minus J plus K. We have to make sure we don't make any mistakes here. If I make a mistake, I will correct myself. I cross I is 0. I cross J is what K? Since there is a minus sign, so minus k. I cross k is k cross i is j, so i cross k is minus j. Okay, j cross i is what? i cross j is k, so j cross i is minus k. So minus minus are already here, so plus 2 into minus 1, so minus minus 2k i cross j is k so j cross i is minus k now j cross j is 0 now minus of j cross k j cross k is i so this is minus i now k cross i is j so minus 4j now k cross j is what j cross k is i so k cross j is minus i minus minus plus so plus 2i and k cross k is 0 so what is this 2 minus 1 is 1 i minus 4 minus 1 minus 5 j minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 k so the angle between the two planes i have n1 and n2 n1 is this n2 is i minus 5 j minus 3 k So the angle between the two planes is equals to n1 dot n2 by mod n1 mod n2 right so n1 is 5i minus j minus 3k is just calculations i minus 5j minus 3k mod is what square root of 5 square plus minus 1 square plus minus 3 square 1 square plus minus 5 square plus minus 3 square 5 into 1 is 5 minus minus plus 5 plus 3 into 3 9 24 uh, 25 plus 1 26 plus 9 35 similarly 35 5 and 5 is 10 and 9 is 19 by 35 is cos theta. Okay, so this is the correct option. 
so we have completed all the 20 problems of coordinate geometry now i will uh, either start with the uh, vector algebra or uh, probability okay thank you everyone for watching my video